all right welcome back so now to the fun part we're gonna actually make a solid out of our uh, geometry that we created in our previous session okay so i'm gonna open up my model real quick and what we're gonna do is now the only thing left is to create a boss or a solid out of the top view i want to take my top view and have it extrude a two inch solid two inch boss okay so there's my two inches over here that's the only thing that was left to do so let's go ahead and learn how to do that so one thing i want to do right now is i'm going to zoom out a little bit right here and then i'm going to press on the isometric view now the isometric view is going to put it in this weird little angle that you may not be able to tell what that is if i now hold the scroll button in my mouse and then move my drawing around you kind of see that everything is drawn on one layer which is the z z zero that's what we put all our geometry on and we're going to be drawing the uh, extrusion in the z-axis and that's why we put it into isometric view it's a nice view that will allow you to see anything that you create a solid on in a nice manner in a 3d fashion this is the uh, 3d model view or the isometric view of solidworks and we're going to basically do the same thing we want our part to look just like that when we're done with it okay so let's go ahead and learn how to do that I'm going to come over here under the solids feature and click on extrude solid. The first thing I want to do is I want to select the outer boundary of my geometry. So go ahead and just click anywhere in the outer boundary and MeshCam just by itself, it selects that entire chain and closes it on its own. And all you have to do is come over here and select OK. And by itself, it's going to create the solid. Now, if your model gets off the screen just like this, just make sure you come over here and click on fit the screen. And MasterCam will put it back so you can see the entire model. So now as you can see, this is going to be the new and improved MasterCam X8 Solids. You can see that it looks much different than our previous uh, versions. Uh, but it's not too different in a way. So the look it does feel different. It's a lot smoother. Uh, you're going to love how smooth it is actually. And there's a lot of really nice things that will have you understand creating creation of solids much easier than previous versions. The first thing you're going to notice is that there's a help button over here. So if you need help at any time, you can always press that help button and it's going to actually pop out a new help um, dialog box that will show you uh, different things that are new in MasterCam X8. And you can also search for whatever you're trying to do and it will explain it for you. So I'm going to close this out of this. The next, next thing I want to show you is that uh, the OK create new operation. So say you're extruding something and you want to create an operation right after that that has to do with the same feature, which is a solid extrude. It's basically the same as the apply button that we use when we're creating the, creating the uh, geometry, but it keeps you basically in here. So it'll create the solid or the extrude boss and it will keep you here to create another boss or a cut. Okay, the check mark means okay, you accepted everything, you're done. You want to exit solid extrude. And the X button means cancel, cancel out of everything and get me out of here. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is that there's a basic tab and there's an advanced tab. The advanced tab has to do with drafts, thin walls, a lot of things that are actually very similar to SolidWorks, which are so nice. And I'm going to show you how to use those later on in the DVD. For now, let's stay on the basics and learn the basics. Under the name, now you're able to actually choose what name you want to call it very easily. So I'm going to keep this as extrude. I'm going to call anything that I make into a solid a boss. So I'm going to click, I'm going to say extrude boss. And I'm going to main body. Now, there's three options over here, three types. There's a create body. And if you move your mouse over any one of them, you're going to see a nice preview of what you're doing if you selected uh, that option. So for this one, is it creating one or more uh, new solids? You're creating a, a, a boss. You're creating a solid out of something. Is what create body is the cut body is that after you create a solid you're able to cut a piece out of that solid and there's an add boss and this is adding another boss over the solid now the reason why these two are not activated or grayed out is because you have not created a solid you can't cut a body or add a boss to something that has not been created yet so that's why these are not highlighted in our next session you will actually see that how these two become highlighted okay the next thing is the target, and I'll show you what that means a little bit later on. Create a single operation. That's all we're doing right now is creating one single operation of an extrusion boss. Okay, the chains over here, this is one chain, so it's going to only say chain number one. Now, there's a reverse. So if I say reverse all, 
it's actually gonna create an extrusion all the way up now if you ever have this problem where you're zooming in and out your mouse and it's out of the screen and it's kind of getting annoying hold the shift button and move the up and down arrow uh, wherever you want the drawing to be so okay if you do that you're gonna see that your drawing moves up and down so you stay you keep it at the center of the part I want to do this so you can see it a little bit better sometimes when you do fit the screen it actually takes the entire screen out but I really want it to be a little smaller so you can see everything so if I click on reverse you're gonna see now it reverses to the upper direction and this one goes to the bottom direction upper direction is always going to be the plus Z bottom direction is going to be the negative C in this one I really want to keep everything to the bottom of my geometry so I always see where my geometry is and create things easier from there and I'll show you why a little bit later now there's also add chain I can also add another chain that I'm maybe trying to do another boss with and then also there's a re chain all that means if I actually there's a lot of chains over here and I delete one of them I would want to rechain all of them to fix my operation okay so I'm gonna go back I'm gonna go down here a little bit and there's a distance distance is literally just like it is it's saying I want to extrude boss this two inches deep and that's what this distance is okay you're also able to auto cursor to the, the exact distance that you want both directions over here means you're actually making a boss in two different directions not just in one okay so that's what that bo both directions mean. We want to keep it in one direction right now. Through all, that's only activated whenever you're doing a cut. And it still tells you if you go over the preview. Always read and see the preview of everything that you're making. It makes your life much easier. Okay? And then anything that is not highlighted, we will go over later as uh, I teach you more and more advanced features. So this is what we wanted. The last thing I want to show you before I exit out of here is I'm going to move this up a little bit the arrow now this is really nice and it's actually if you're familiar with SOLIDWORKS you'll be familiar with this as well if you just left click on the arrow you'll be able to move the features up and down to exactly where you want it to be now this is, may not be exact but this is more mainly used for me at least as a preview like oh okay this would be too big or this would be too small so it's something like that I, I don't usually use it to be exact because you can't it's very hard for you to snap onto something but also if you have that now remember I'm not holding my mouse if you are using SOLIDWORKS usually you have to left click on it hold it and drag it but this one I'm actually just clicked on it once and I'm just moving my mouse up and down if you notice if you actually go through uh, over certain features you can actually have it cut straight to there or extrude straight to there but as you can see if I move my mouse over any of these features the entire block disappears and that's because I'm telling it to go and extrude a boss straight to that geometry which is literally on the same geometry as my the geometry creation so that is useful only when I have geometry on different layers so for example these geometries are on zero if I have geometry on two inches that's when that would be helpful okay I'm basically would be extruding from one layer to the next so I'm gonna press on anywhere over here real quick and then I'm gonna come here and fix this type in 2.0 hit enter and I like this this is exactly how I want it to be click on OK okay and as you can see if I go back to my model this looks exactly like I want it to be and there you go this concludes our session for extruding our first geometry into a block into a solid block in our next session we're going to be learning how to extrude cut these three holes all the way through the part